today I have Gear World The Borderlands Fantasy Flight Game A Game of Conflict in a Post-Apocalyptic Future Based on the classic game system by Bill Elbert, Jack Codelidge, and Peter Orlotka. Gear World, The Borderlands. Gear World, The Borderlands. In The Borderlands, the world grew dark and the gears ground to a halt. The sky people recreated, re retreated above the clouds and left the Borderlands to crumble and decay. The old machines are rusted and broken as scavengers of Gear World live on scraps from the past and refuse from the sky people's flying cities. The scavengers only hope for a better life to build great towering skyworks and gain the favor of the wind world above. Allowing them to outlast and outlive their rival scavenger gangs in the borderlands. Survival is an exception. Exception. Gear World, the Borderlands is a game of conquest and survival in a post apocalyptic world for two to four players. Seize territory, marshal resources, and avenge yourself from your rivals. Reclaim uh. the machines of old to build powerful weapons and enormous skyworks. Can you forge a new future from the rest of your remnants of the past? The game mechanics of Gear World, the Borderlands, are based on the original system first published in the classic board game, Borderlands! Fantasy Flight Game. Here's what's supposed to be in it. What the back of the box looks like. So, let's check it out. Check it out now. Let's check it out. Check it out now. Now, I also have Cosmic Encounter in here, which I'll do a review for. And the reason I have Cosmic Encounter in here is because I was at a Goodwill and they had the Cosmic Encounter, but they didn't have the box. Crazy, huh? So we have the gears, we have stones. We got gold. We got more stones and gear towers and gear bridges and gear steamships and guns, weapons. So, uh, that's neat. And, uh, Gear World, the Borderlands, and like I said, I only had half the box of Cosmic Encounter. So check out the board. Check out this. Big board which doesn't fit this little bitty table. Does not fit this little bitty table. We have this building cost and movement point chart. We have Hestis, which is this territory. We have Claw Island, Claw Island, which Claw Island has the Spur, Far Point, and Solomon's Landing. We have Ironside Island, which has Felcrum, Newcomb's Point, the Teeth, and Clog Slopes. We have Loke Island, which has South Helena, the Arch, Helicia, oh, Helicia Cove. West Torque and East Torque. And uh, then, of course, we have the Hestias, which we have Milano Point, Mill Run, Watts Coast, The Watch, Grey Water, Grey Walk, 
Air Hulk, Tom's Harbor, Grinding Shore, Lena, Brotus, the Lower Eld, West Grape, East Grape, Heroes Reach, the Dead Works, Savory Hill, Ockham, Clean Water, Green Dome, Green Holt, River Holt, River Folk, Fork, The Prospect, Nichols Gear, Sky Watcher Hill, Westfield, Southern Waste, Central Waste, Northern Waste, Dry Shore, Edmont, looks like an unpassed territory, uh, Scrape Water, Gold Dust, and Rusted Gears. So, that's the board, which is big. Let's see if I can get the whole board in a shot. There you go. So y'all can see it all. Okay, so that's the board. We also have the rules. Gear World, the begin order lands. So we have the rules. It says. In days before the gears still turned and the old machine still worked, the sky was clear and blue and life flourished and noxious clouds came and choked the air. Smoke blanketed the sky. Some people departed in flying cities, ascending above the clouds to the world above. Others dug deep beneath the ground, vanishing into the world below. Meanwhile, those in the borderlands watched the world grow dark as the gears ground to a halt. One by one, the old machines broke down, and the secrets of their making and purpose were lost. The people of the Borgerlands are scavengers now, surviving on scraps from the world above and living on the bones of the before time. In the world above, the sky people, as the Borderlands call them, live in massive cities and drift above the clouds for generations. The sky people sustained on their vast stores of power. But now that power is diminishing and their long independence from the land must come to an end. The city's engineers have designed great conductive towers called Skyworks to be built by the people of the Borderlands. Provided the Skyworks function is intended, they will carry the power of the fire beneath up into the sky. The sky people know much of the Borderlands and its inhabitants, and they know that the Borderlands will bend to their will without question. In exchange for supplies and scrap, the Borderlanders will build the Great Towers. They will wage war to gain the favor of the Sky People. They will build the Skyworks. Game over. The Gear Wards of Borderlands 2-4 to four players assume the role of hostile tribes occupying a continent and its surrounding islands in a post-apocalyptic world. Players must gather scrap, raise horses, mine minerals, cultivate strong alliances, and increase their tribe's strength to defend their lands from ambitious neighbors. As the game progresses, the tribes reduce tribe and trade and steal resources, develop weapons, bridges, riverboats, ships, and skyworks. When a tribe controls enough skyworks, 
they receive a multitude of gifts from the floating cities that dock at them, allowing the tribes to thrive and dominate the border. The object of the game of Gear Words, the Borderlands, is control three skyworks at the end of a game round. Here's what we have in the game. Component overview, game board, plus figures, tokens, production tokens. We got coal mines, gold mines, horse ranch, iron mines, scrap yard token. Back resource token. We got coal, gold, horse, iron, scrap. Development tokens. We got bridges, river boat, ships, skyworks, weapons, die, token anatomy. Set up, set up diagram for four players, game board anatomy, game board overview, areas, land, rivers, lake, sea, coastal regions, Game round overview. Got the build phase, production phase, trade phase, transport phase, battle phase. Special rules for Xerus game round. Dynamic game phases. Winning the game. Game phases in the build phase. Building a skywork. Build action. Select land area. Spend resources. And resources, place development, weapons, river boats, building a river boat, plastic figures, that would be these by the way, which we have green, yellow, red, and blue, and white, the white, not yellow. They all look the same. I'll show you in a minute. Ships. Building a ship and a bridge. Bridges. Production phase. Produce resources. Gold mine. Gold ma mine makes coal. Coal, ma gold, coal mine makes coal. Gold mine makes gold. Horse ranch makes horses. Iron mine makes iron. Scrap yard makes scrap. Dude. Producing resources, special rules for horse production, trading phase, forming a trade action, trade actions, transport phase. Transport action by foot, by horse, by riverboat, ship supply route, foot, horse, riverboat, and ship, load, unload, move, loading, unloading, moving, supply route, transporting by foot and by horse, battle phase. Transporting by riverboat. It's nice that they have these little diagram charts here to help. Transporting by ship. Attack action. Declare attack. Form alliances. Declare attack force. Declare defend force. Calculate <coughs> strength points. Determine attack result. Declare attack. Target. Form alliances, declare attacking force, forming alliances chart, land areas, riverboat ships and bridges, building a binding and non binding agreements, spearheads, pro spearhead leave range. Reinforcement range, flip tokens, no. Declaring a spearhead. Declare defending force. 
calculate his strength points. Land area horse in development is worth the following strength points. Land area is 1, horse 1, bridge 2, riverboat 3, weapon 3, skyworks 3, ship 5. Determine attack result, player elimination, successful attack, failed attacks, Resolving an attack action. Additional rules. Stacking limits. Skyworks. Supply routes. Transporting by supply route. <laughs> the deep sea. Deep sea movement. From an island to the continent or from the continent to the island. Crossing the deep sea. Bridges. Restricted tokens, figure and token limits, two player game, optional rules, there's the all or, all or nothing on the continent, basically optional rules like all or nothing. Basically in this case you play until there's no more skyworks. And this one you only play on the continent. You don't use the islands. Political political mechanizations. And the credits. The game designed by Bill Elber, Jack Cartridge, and Peter Tuga. Game development, Adam Sandler. Sadler. Rules writing, Adam Baker. Producer, Mark O'Connor. Fiction writing, Daniel Lovitz Clark. Graphic design, Jason Bruden, Sean Boyk, Dallas Mayoff, and Peter Walkman. Managing art director, Andrew Navro. Art administration, Zoe Robinson. Cover art, Andis Finer. Board art, A.L. Ashburn. Figure design, Adam Scrumpert. Production management, Eric Knight. Managing game producer, Stephen Kimball, executive game designer, Corey Konizaka, executive game producer, Michael Hurley, publisher, Christian T. Peterson, playtesters, Tim Huckleberry, Justin Kempernen, Lucas Litzinger, Brady Settle, and Zach Tello Thomas. Copyright 2013, Fantasy Flight Games. Visit, uh, visit, visit them on the web at fantasyflightgames.com. Gear World, the Borderlands. Now, this is the actual, um, it's, this is the story, which I suggest you read this story to everybody before playing the game because it, it kind of gets you in a fantasy mode. <clears throat> Axel stood on the TF of the spear gear looking out over the long slope down towards the sea. From here he could see nearly all of Claw Island. He could see his people down by the river crawling over the corpse of the machine. So old Axel had no idea what it might have once been. They would savage springs, cogs, gears, shafts, any machine parts they could find that were still strong and had not corroded. Scrap. Claw Island was rich in scrap. Their settlement was built on the spear gear, a massive piece of an old machine that lay perfectly flat atop a hill. <coughs> Four clicks in every direction, the borderlands were covered in ruined machines and hunks of metal from the minuscule to the enormous. It was a good sight and it made Axel proud. His people had done well in recent t turns. 
A bridge now linked their island to Greywater, allowing trade with Hellasians and giving Axel people as an opportunity to expand their lands. They had found coal beneath the hill on the west side of the island, and the sky people had dropped a cache of treasures down by the sea. The cache contained several cunning contraptions with intricate gear work, as well as a small supply of feed and medicines. Axel had taken one of the medicines for himself and rebuilt machines for himself and rebuilt it. Braced his left, it braced his left arm now. Its gears connected to the micro bowler on his back, argumenting his strength. But he, as proud as he was of his new machine, it was the other thing in the cache that had him most excited. A seismic, dizzyingly complex, it was etched into the interior of the bronze shell containing the cache. Axel couldn't make anything of it. He had it brought on his best servant. Look, if anyone could. Axel, he turned to a youth, scrabbling across the spur gear toward him. Trouble. Ping skirted to a stop, the tool belt jungling, and nearly dropped his rifle. Axel snatched the gun from him and examined it. Your auto loader's gears are grinding, Ping. He said, all our machines are unique, irreplaceable. You should take better care of it. I will, Axel, I promise, said Ping. But you have to come quick. He swept his tail, tall cylinder hat from the head and mopped it at his swelling brow. He left a trail of grease behind. The boy had been running. Axel handed Ping's rifle back to him. Brian's boys, Ping nodded. Axel pulled his bandana up over his face and slipped his goggles down into place. Where? Raiders in the strat, Grat Ping. They've brought up a steamship. It'll reach the scavengers in a quarter arc. We have to go protect him. Axel turned toward the river and reached up to his goggles. His f fingers found a lens suspended on his breast armature and brought it around to settle in front of his right eye. A sky people lens, one, one that allowed him to see great distances. He found a boat quickly. It was nearly 40 meters long and built of hammered iron. And brass. Brian must have traded a lot of gold to the green, green holsters for that. He could see the gleaming brass gears turning above the ship's ponderous paddle wheel, and its two tall smokestacks, plenching smoke, black smoke. He said, "Yes," said Ping. They're burning coal. These aren't raiders," said Axel. "You don't burn coal to raid scrap. They've come to the whole island. We have to sound the alarm." He grabbed. Ping's shoulder with the argumented left hand. Run out to the scavengers and get them back. What about the bridge? Ping turned his hat in his hand. Fig fingers working nervously. He was right to be afraid. The bridge was the lifeblood of trade for the whole island. They're almost so linked to Hysteris. Brian's boys will certainly be making it a target. Let me worry about the bridge, Ping. Ping nodded. I returned it to go. Axel tightened his grip. Be safe. You're not daring to fight Brian's boys, you hear me? We aren't so many left in the borderlands that that we can afford to waste one. Ping said, I know, Axel. Then he was gone. Axel tr trunged across the spur gear toward the bridge and began preparations to weather Brian's assault. The battle for the spur lasted nearly two arcs. Brian's boys came on foot up the slope from the sea and others came mounted on the horseback, thundering from grey water to the bridge. Without Ping's warning, Axel and his people might have caught unaware and wiped out. As it was, they took up positions along the length of the bridge, and along the top of spur gear, firing rifles and ducking whenever Brian's boys returned fire. Lock did something to the bridge that caused gears to turn and a wall to rise, helping to protect those on the bridge from Brian's raiders. Reinforcements from S Simon's Landing and Farpoint joined the battle, driving Brian's boys back toward the sea. The ship's cannonades pounded the bridge, but Axel ordered their own artillery into position to return fire. The resultant salvage drove the invaders back and caused the ship to turn for home, pausing only to pick up the tattered remains of Brian's invading force. When it was over, Locke visited Axel in the surgery. The Kurrigan was pulling a ball out of his shoulder. I think I know why they came, said Locke. We all know why they came, said Axel. For our land, for our scrap, for our machines, and our coal. Because there's too little left in the borderlands, and the junk the sky people toss down to us isn't enough. All these things were true last turn, said Locke. 
and they didn't come then. What then? Locke grinned, white teeth shining through the suit and grim that covered most of her face. It made her look like a creature from a fairy tale. For this, I think, she bent and lifted up the carved shell of the Sky People cache. This was unusual, of course. Most of what we find from the Sky People are leavings. Broken machinery, discarded feed, forgotten junk, and rusted parts. It's rare they toss down such a bounty of useful things. I know, said Axel, but Brian's boys must know what that what feed and medicine we found and there is gone by now but this isn't luck turned to show over revealing the etching within i've deciphered only some of it axel turned to look the courage and tisked and trusted him back into position it looks like a tower of gears said axel and large taller than any structure i've ever seen said luck we know almost nothing about the sky people some say they once walked among us but if so that was in the before time when all the machines still worked and the gears still turned what we do know is that in their cities in the sky they want us they want for nothing above the clouds they somehow have all the coal and iron and feed and everything else they need her long fingers brushed the metal of the casing as if she were reading the schematic with her fingertips. Maybe they, they're not people at all, said Axel. Maybe they don't need those things. Then why do they discard feed and medicine and other things people can use? The cities wander the sky, dropping their refuse upon us, and we learn hints about them from their waste. No, they are people of some sort. But the one thing they do need is this. She pressed her fingertip against the schematic. What is it? A conduit, it seems, like a harness power from the fire. Beneath, somehow, all it does is turn. Gears turn gears, turn crate shafts, turn more gears, carrying power into the sky. Power for the sky people? Yes, she said, grinning again. And the cities of the sky people will flock to it. The tower rise up above the clouds. The flying cities will come to it and they will take the power from the gears and rain down gifts and blessings upon call island we will always have enough to eat and no one not even brian will dare move against us but first said axel we must build one so that's what you are building so there's the index of course And there's the strength points, movement points, and building costs in the turn order. So that was, uh, that's uh, the Gear World, the Borderlands. So Gear World, the Borderlands. Here's the Fantasy Flight Catalog. World of Warcraft Adventure Game. Spring Catalog 2008. This happened to be in there. So uh, these are some other games we could get, like... The World of Warcraft Adventure Game. Mutant Chronicles. Dark Heresy. World. Warhammer Roleplay. Warhammer Fantasy Roleplay. Battlestar Galactica. Living Card Games. I'm coming. Game of Thrones, the card game. Call of Cthulhu, the card game. Talisman, the magical quest game, which I actually have Talisman. I will do a review of it. I actually found Talisman in the Bargain Barn at the same time I found Gear World and Cosmic Encounter. Isn't that sweet? I paid like less than $5 for three games and a white ranger tiger zord original white ranger tiger zord tribune premise interior of paris kingsburg red november i think i have red november at home if i find it i'll have to do a review of it AT-43, looks like a tactical miniatures game. Wow. 
characters are you have gorilla troops birds and humans and other interesting stuff the age of ragnarok confrontation that looks like another tactical miniatures game Starcraft a board game, that's one I would like to get. I got Starcraft Risk. I have to do a review of Starcraft Risk. World of Warcraft a board game, that's one I would, would, wouldn't mind getting because those are both tactical, um, tactical conquest games like Risk. Descent, Journeys in the Dark, got the main the base game and, um, Several expansions. It's like a it's like a dungeon crawl type game. I probably would like it. Tannhauser. It's another. It's it's like a dungeon crawl sort of kind of, but it's also a tactical miniatures kind of like more like Star Wars Imperial Assault. Then we got Arkham Horror. We got Tide of Iron. I actually have Tide of Iron. I have Tide of Iron at home. I like it. I would like to get the uh, expansion sets that allow me to have more more troops. But I have a copy or two of Tide of Iron. I got some of the uh, I got some of the expansions that give me more territory. I mean more uh, pieces to make new boards. And stuff. Kingdom Hearts. Trading card game. Twilight Imperium. I have Twilight Imperium. I need to get the, uh, the expansions to it. And they've made a Twilight Imperium 4 now. So that's cool. Uh, Lord of the Rings. There's a lot of different Lord of the Rings games. I got some Lord of the Rings games. I would like to get this War of the Ring one. Game of Thrones. I got um, the first one. I don't have any expansions to it. Rattlesnake. Micro Mutants. Wings of War. Anima. Card game. Runebound. I think I would like that one. Universal Fighting System. Dust, I actually have Dust. Grim, Ingenious, Cold War, CIA vs. KGB, Condoneer, Fury of Dracula, Warrior Knights. Warrior Knights looks like it would be the kind of game I'd like. Uh, here's a couple more. We got Through the Desert, Colossal Arena, Draken 3rd Edition, Megalas 3rd Edition, K